Here, why I believe weightlifting is a waste of time. First of all, credit to my my good good friend and uh, my man for uh, many over twenty years now, Doctor John Jaquish. Well, before when he was a doctor, so when I knew him, you know, in college. But uh, it was his book actually that I read, "Weightlifting is a Waste of, waste of Time," that inspired me to get into uh, close, you know, basically, you know, seal the deal on me starting this resistance training, which is X three, and. You know, I've been doing weightlifting on and off for 20 freaking years, you know, really, you know, starting since I was about 17 and, you know, just uh, being even younger than that. I mean, gosh, 13, you know, just on and off uh, for trying to figure it out, trying to learn how it worked, you know, just trying to get stronger and stronger as much as I could. And, you know, over time, you know, doing dumbbell uh, standing overhead press and incline press and, and finally just, uh, you know, not all out blowing out my shoulder, but injuring my shoulder and then powering through it, you know, fighting through the pain and injuring my biceps, never, ever healing my biceps. My, my biceps just, they were just never ending uh, pain. I don't know why I could never figure it out, but you know, I just would continue on training. And then after 2020 hit, you know, we started, I stopped, uh, I, I just stopped training as much when they closed the gym. And, uh, you know, I went back into it and it was never really the same. So fortunately I came across that book, weightlifting was a waste of time. And, you know, in reading it, it's a great read. Uh, you can find it on, on Amazon. I'm sure Jake, John Jaquish is the author. And, you know, it basically talks about how going to complete failure, like failure to absolute fatigue, where like, for example, if I'm doing standing overhead press with a dumb, with a barbell like this. I can only go to so much failure before, oh, you know, let's say I'm doing whatever amount. Let's say I'm doing 115 and I hit five. Oh, I try to hit six. Forget it. I'm not going to seven. There's no way, you know, I mean, uh, there's just no chance. So there, I can't go all the way to failure. I'm going uh, maybe to 65% failure, maybe 70%. I don't know. And, you know, with this, it's, it's resistance band training. So the standing press it's more of a slow controlled movement. No injury or no tension on my shoulders when I'm doing it. Slow and controlled up, slow and controlled down. Slow and controlled up, really squeezing it, and then slow and controlled down. It's been a, it's allowed me to go all the way to failure. And, you know, I'm in the habit of always tracking them and, and seeing exactly where I'm at. But more recently, after meeting with my buddy Tony, and we he and I trained together, he wasn't necessarily tracking his reps and I felt myself cheating and like trying to squeeze out extra reps and rush and, and have bad form. Now, uh, you know, over the last few weeks, I'm just like really slow and controlled, not overdoing it on the weight and just making sure I go all the way to failure where I just cannot do anymore. So the last few reps are like here, they're just barely anything. There's just hardly any gas at all in the tank and they're just going. And then even, even then I may just jump down to my knees and finish out a few more, you know, all the way down my knees from my knees with the bands. And that right there, it's so, it like, when, you, when I go all the way to failure, it's a whole different feeling of, uh, <laughs> of fatigue than standing overhead barbell press. And it seems like my shoulders are getting, you know, as, as strong as they have been in the past. In comparing, let's say 2016, 2017, 2018, to then taking time off, to now getting right back into it on this type of training, it seems like it. Now it's hard for me to tell exactly the amount of strength, but I'm uh, uh, 160, uh, right around 160, 159, which is pretty common. And I'm lean, but definitely stronger and no injury at all. No injury prone, I'm not feeling like any pain in my shoulders. I'm not worried about my shoulders getting, getting injured. And then of course, back to why weightlifting is a waste of time. It's so efficient, man. I mean, literally, I, I'm, not, I'm talking 15, 20 minutes. Let's say 20 minutes with rest, with very strong, like very deep rest periods. Now, if I want to just go and have smaller rest periods, maybe 12 minutes. You know, I could do all four exercises for, for the first workout and then four exercises for the second workout from 12 to 14 minutes. So it has been an incredible use of time as opposed to all that time going to the gym and back I mean, it's, and there's just hard, no room for excuses. Why weightlifting is a waste of time. This is Gavin Mayo. Like, comment, and subscribe. 
A lot more to come, man. I'm going to be doing out, pumping out more videos on other uh, subjects, really going deep. I really want to just uh, start doing a lot of interviews and podcasts and really start getting this out there on different platforms, writing a blog and integrating a blog into this. Cause I'm like a, I'm like a freaking world-class writer, you know, humbly speaking. Um, but yeah, I really am. And so it's like speaking is one thing I love to speak and I'm a great, I mean, I'm a, a great sloppy speaker, but you know, when it comes to writing, I'm actually like world-class, like in the way of uh how to articulate things. So, well, in my own mind, in my rubber room of a mind, okay? In my rubber room of a mind, I'm a great writer. <laughs> That's all. See you next time.